Hello everyone and you're welcome back once again to Life City. So in today's class we are going to talk about uh, qualified institutional bias. That is the QIBS. In the intricate landscape of finance and investment, there exists a crucial player known as a qualified institutional buyer or QIB. This designation holds significant importance in the world. In the world of securities, offerings, and capital markets, QIBS are sophisticated entities that, that while substantial financial muscle, are uh, important market dynamics and investment opportunities. And in this lecture, we are going to delve into the concept of QIBS, their qualifications, and the pivotal role they play in the shaping of the investment landscape. Defining qualified institutional bias, the QIBS. Number one is defining the QIBS. A qualified institutional bias refers to a specific type of institutional investors that meets certain regulatory criteria, enabling them to participate in private placement and other investment activities. They are generally unavailable to individual investors. Number two is scope of QIBS. QIBS encompasses a wide array of entities, including mutual funds, insurance companies, pension funds, and registered broker dealers. All these entities are deemed to sophisticated and well-equipped to navigate complex financial markets. Let's go into let's go into the qualification for QIB status. Number one is financial thresholds. To qualify as a QIB, an entity must possess a substantial investment portfolio, ensuring they possess the financial capability in order to engage in sophisticated investment strategies. These financial thresholds are typically measured in terms of assets under management, the AUM. Number two is minimum investment. QIBS are often required to commit a minimum amount of capital to various investments. This criterion ensures that QIBS contributes meaningfully to the securities offering you participated in. The third one is regulatory compliance. To be recognized as a QIB, entities must adhere to regulatory guidelines and reporting requirements, and this ensures transparency and accountability in their investment practices. Let's go to the benefits of QIB status. Number one benefit is access to exclusive opportunities. QIBS enjoy access to investment opportunities that are not available to the general public. This exclusivity allows them to explore alternative assets and, potential, and potentially generate higher returns. Number two is reduced regulatory constraints. Given their sophistication, QIBS face fewer regulatory restrictions compared to the retail investors. This freedom enables them to implement complex investment strategies with greater flexibility. The third one is enhanced liquidity. QIBS participation in private investment and other investment activities can enhance the market liquidity, thereby benefiting both issuers and the investors. I haven't talked about that. Let's go into the importance of QIBS in capital markets. Number one importance is market stabilization. QIBS play a pivotal role or important role in stabilizing financial markets during period of volatility. Their strategic decision can influence market sentiment and prevent excessive price fluctuations. Number two is capital formation. By participating in securities offerings, QIBS contributes to capital formation for businesses and organizations. This injection of capital fuels economic growth and certain innovations in the economy. 
The third one is investor, investor confidence. The presence of QIBS in the market often instills confidence in other investors, thereby signaling that the investment opportunities has undergone rigorous scrutiny by seasoned professionals. And for this, let's go to the conclusion for all the above mentioned points in this uh, lecture. Qualified institutional buyers, that is the QIBS, they are instrumental players in the world of finance. Possessing the qualification and expertise to engage in exclusive investment opportunities, their role extends beyond financial transactions. And the QIBS we are talking about, they stabilize markets, they foster capital formation, and elevate investor confidence. By adhering to its strict regulatory criteria, QIBS maintain a reputation for sophistication and professionalism, shaping the landscape of securities, offerings, and capital markets. And as we navigate the dynamic realm, as we navigate the dynamic realm of investment, understanding the significance of QIBS is essential for both seasoned professionals and body investors alike. And for this, we come to the end of the lecture. Thank you for watching. I hope you gained a lot from this lecture. I hope to meet you in our next video. Thank you.